Before we move on though, I want to save the sound. So to save uh, this particular patch, I'm gonna go to the Files section and I'm gonna select Save Edited Instrument. And of course I'm gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna call it the Simple Pad. Say Simple Pad Lab. There are different ways of saving the patch. I can save the patch as patch only. This means that contact will save all the parameters, the looping, the mapping, all the effects and so on, but it won't save the original sample, it, which means it will always refer to the location of the original sample wh from where I imported it. This is a good option if you already have saved once the patch and sample somewhere. I want to keep them together. I will always try to keep the patch and the samples in the same folder. So in this case, a better option would be to save the patch and samples in a folder. So I'm going to do uh, that. And as you can see, as soon as I clicked save, um, the, the, the patch was renamed. 